How's it going everyone? Cody Bernard here with another YouTube video and in today's video we are talking about this emergent vulnerability that just dropped by Atlassian. I think I pronounced that right. Confluence. Uh, it is a product of Atlassian. Basically what Confluence is, is a way for teams or organizations to use like as a wiki. And a wiki is something that an organization would use to store things like runbooks, to store things like projects. It, it, it's just an internal phone book, for lack of better words, if you're unaware of what Confluence is. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this vulnerability a little bit more. So this was released like a, an hour ago, so it's really fresh and uh, information has yet to be really discussed much about it. Um, <laughs> uh, this one was, I found it through Catalan. Uh, he's like a, a fucking genius when it comes to all the security news and stuff. So basically it is a remote code execution vulnerability that was released today at 1 p.m. Pacific time. It impacts Confluent server and data center and there is known exploitation of this vulnerability on version 7.18.0. And subsequent testing indicates versions of Confluent Server Data Center uh, before, uh, at or after 7.4.0 um, are potentially vulnerable. So there's no fix at this time. The only fix that Atlassian has suggested is to remove Confluence from the internet. Or just turn it, just like turn off your confluence systems. Like I'm not kidding. That's like that's what their suggestion is right now. There's no patch. Um, so what you need to do, like it says right there. So I'll put a link to this down below. So this is a pre-auth, unauth, pre-auth remote code execution vulnerability, meaning you do not need any sort of authentication to exploit this vulnerability. And now we are going to go on a live internet hunt of potentially vulnerable systems. Uh, there's multiple ways you could go about this. I will show you two. Uh, one way is through everyone's favorite uh, tool, Shodan. So I already found the hash, the favicon hash for Confluence. Now keep in mind that this, I believe, will only impact self-managed confluence instances and not necessarily uh software as a service so if you're like so like example if this was like a microsoft vulnerability if you're running os 365 office 365 you would not be impacted by it but if you run exchange or whatever you would be impacted by it so I, i'm assuming this is the same case uh if you self-manage your confluence so just keep that in mind um so the favicon hash i'll put a link to it down below it was very simple to find i just looked up confluence on shodan found the favicon and here we go all the favicons right here the only downside to this is you're not able to search uh for versions on here now there might be like a way you can maybe pull out some like return on uh the SSL cert or something like that, content length, I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't show you the version number. But if you were to go to like any <laughs> any Confluence page, it will tell you the um, version number on the page. So it's very possible for an attacker to enumerate which version you're running simply just by going to the page. Um, so that's the way that I found that yields the most results. Another thing you could do is literally copy paste the like powered by Atlassian Confluence and look it up on uh, Google, like powered by Atlassian Confluence. And then the version that's impacted is 7.18. So I'm gonna do this in quotes, 7.18. 7.18, it said zero. But let's see if we get any results here. So right away, we have some results right here. Uh, only seven results. Um, and if we were to click on one of these, they would potentially be impacted. It will tell you at the bottom um, right here. So they're impacted. I So two ways to do it um yeah so if you were any of these companies 
uh, you should actively be working on getting them off the internet. So anyways, that is it for that video. Um, I have been a little uh, MIA for a bit, uh, mainly because new job and per usual, I'm not really interested in making OSINT videos, but when stuff like this comes up, I, I get super, super psyched to make a video. Uh, I have like a terabyte worth of footage of the bus build. I just don't have time to make like little snippets. So I might try to make one today, but um, I got a ton of, ton of footage. So currently finished the subfloor yesterday and then I am like two, th one third of the way done gutting the entire like ceiling and then walls and stuff like that. It just takes a ton of time. So that's it for this video. If y'all enjoy content like this, which isn't much, but I'm trying to get up to speed again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification so you can get notified anytime I post a new video. So apologies again, it's not like a well thought out video, but wanted to share that with y'all because it is important and it's probably gonna be in a meeting or two tomorrow for you if you use Confluence. So I just wanted to give y'all heads up on that. So anyways, that's it for this video. Y'all take care, bye.